Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'll show you how you can create a basic sales funnel from scratch using WP Funnels. Now, in my last video, I showed you how I created a basic funnel real quick uh, using one of our pre-built templates, all right? It was a basic funnel, but uh, I think you got the idea how easy it is using a template. Now, in this video, I'll focus on showing you how you can create a basic funnel using uh, no templates, just from scratch, okay? So as you can see, I'm on the overview page and I already have that funnel I created in the last video over here. Now I'm going to create another funnel and this time I'm not going to use a template. So just click on add new funnel. Instead of choosing a template, just click on start from scratch. And this will ask you to give a name of the funnel. So let's say I'm going to give it uh, test101. Okay, so there you go. So let me click on create funnel and this will open up a blank drag and drop canvas okay so when i say from scratch it means it's completely from scratch you have to add the steps you want you have to design each of these steps and uh so and so okay so now uh to add a step on the top left side you have this option called plus step if you click on this it will take you to this page and here on the left side you see you have the option to choose which step you want to create now once I select a step on the right side, you can see I have the option to import a page template for that step, or I can create one from scratch. So in this video, I'll completely focus on creating one from scratch. Now in any funnel, three steps are the most basic steps that you need to have. That's the landing, the checkout, and thank you. All right, so for now, I'm just gonna add those steps. First, let me add the landing step. Let me click on start from scratch and give it a name, landing one and create step and there you go the landing step is created let me just add another step which is the checkout start from scratch checkout one create step and then i'm going to create a thank you step so let's thank you one create step and the step is added so now i have the three basic steps of the funnel and i want to connect them to each other so how you do that you select the step and on the right side look at the arrow icon there just hover your mouse on top of it and you'll see cursor changes once the cursor changes just click hold and drag your mouse on top of the next step you want the buyer to go to so i want a buyer to go from landing to checkout so i'll drop it on checkout and you can see the checkout is connected in the same way select the checkout step and from the right side uh, click and hold on the icon and drag it onto the next step which is the thank you step so there you go so i have connected the steps and now the funnel steps are mapped okay the next important thing to do is to assign the main product that you want to offer using this funnel so that you have to do in the checkout step click on the checkout step click on the settings icon and here uh, you'll have the option uh, to choose the product you want to offer so let me just choose uh, the book that I wanted to sell and that's design thinking I'll just click on add product after selecting it and this will be added okay I can add multiple products if I want to that's totally up to me so then click on save changes and cross the drawer and as you can see the label that said no product added is no longer there that means you have assigned the main product for this funnel now while creating your funnel do notice one thing that anytime you see this button is purple it means that some unsaved changes are there so in that case you need to click on save to save the funnel all right so normally if it's auto saved you won't see this coming up it will be disabled like this but let's say i'm moving this and this is an unsaved change and i can click on save and this will be saved okay so now i have added the default product but since this is not a template each of these pages are pretty much blank let me just show you let me just preview the checkout page and there you go this is actually loaded this is completely blank okay so let me just cross this out and go back to the canvas so when you create one from scratch you also have to design your pages all right so design them you just need to click on the step and click on edit and this will open up in your page builder edit mode all right so since i've selected my preferred page builder as elementor is opening up in elementor mode if it was gutenberg i mean if i would choose gutenberg then this would open in gutenberg edit mode all right so now let me look at the elementor page and this is blank completely blank okay so here you can use the default elements from elementor to design this page however you want 
right? Just one thing you need to keep in mind that each of the steps we have in our funnel have their own dedicated widget. For example, this is the landing page. This one has its own WP Funnels widget. So in the elements area, if you scroll to the very bottom, you will see there's this section called WP Funnels and under which you have this next step button widget. You can drag and drop it here and you can see that this will add up button, all right? So what this button does is this button triggers the next step action. So just like this one, there are more widgets we have in each and every step. They have their own respective uh, widgets, which you need to use. In case of Gutenberg, they have their own respective blocks, which you must include. So in case of landing page, instead of any CTA button, you need to use this widget. In case of checkout page, instead of using a form, you need to use a widget and so and so. So let me just show you how you can uh, use this widgets in all the other pages. All right, for now, I'm not designing it. I'm just gonna keep this button, all right? And I'm just gonna click on update and this page is saved. I'll just cross this out and move on to the checkout step. So let me just edit the checkout step. Again, this is blank because uh, as, you, as I told you, I created the step from scratch. So I need to add our widget. So if I scroll down to the very bottom, I have the checkout widget, which I can drop here. And this will load up the checkout form on the checkout page. So the form itself is our widget. So I'll just update this and I'll go back to my funnel and edit the thank you step. And there you go. I'll again scroll to the very bottom and it has its own widget called order details. I'll just drag and drop it here and this will give me the details of the order uh, for this page. Then I'll just update and go back to my funnel. So that's it. That's how easily you can create a funnel from scratch. So now you have learned how to create a funnel using a template and how to create a funnel from scratch. In the next few videos, I'll explain all of our other features that you can use to improve these funnels to make it more effective and get you more results. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.